Oh, welcome back to another episode, guys. Uh, she's going to be a cracking episode. We're doing King of the Pin fishing comp. I sound a little bit sick, and that's because I am. I've been coughing up a lung the last couple of days, so um, yeah, she's probably going to be a little bit crackly over the next few days, so uh, be patient with me or <laughs> I'm on the mend. But we've had a good couple of days here before the comps actually started. We've gone out, we've crabbed a little bit there. We haven't really done too much pre-fishing or fishing at all. So we've sort of just, you know, milled around the campsite, had a little bit of fun, got the drone up. And that's right, yeah, I bought a drone. This video is um, actually sponsored by Fabco. They do fresh fruit and produce there, based out of Rock Lee. So, um, you know, for all your fresh fruit and produce needs, a couple of sand flies, Definitely go hit those guys up, they're very good. The produce is very fresh. So thanks again to Fabco for sponsoring this video. If you haven't already uh, figured it out from any of my Instagram stories, I don't know if I've mentioned it or not, but we are doing King of the Pin. We're going to try and actually see if we can catch something to uh, place, but you know, we'll see how that goes because you know, 80 20, that's fishing. <laughs> you never know. But it is a absolutely cracking day out there on the water. The wind forecast is way lower or way higher than what it's actually at the moment. But it's an awesome day. I think I might even take a nap today, so we'll see how we go. But I'll throw on some footage now of the drone footage and some of the crabbing footage, maybe. We're going to do a separate video for an, uh, another little mission there, but we went out a couple of nights ago, or the last couple of nights, and we crabbed around the mud flats and stuff like I do. It's good fun, and it's normally pretty productive, so I might roll on some of that footage now real briefly, but that'll be another full video on its own, so... Wow. <laughs> wow. There we go, first one for the night. <laughs> Definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up and uh, drop a comment below. I want to know if you guys actually like some of the crabbing videos. So feel free to let us know how you, what your thoughts are and I'll see you guys in the footage. See you shortly. Oh, it's fucking real good. Oh, fuck, I forgot the crab measure, eh? 
turn him over. Squint your eyes, mate. No, it's gone. Okay, looks good. <laughs> you really stepped on him, mate. Yeah, well. He's chocolate by full. Hello. G'day, love. That was my shoe. Sure it was. Oh, where's the big bucks? Yeah, there's a few around. Not a tough spot in them, eh? Oh, did you find one too? Yeah, Jenny, I think. Uh -huh. Oh, little Jenny. Safe of uh, yeah, Jenny's around anyway. Hi, bloody eye though. Oh, full reindeer. Alright, so, <clears throat> I had a very, very average start for the trip, guys. Uh, this morning did not go well at all. Started up real early, went out for a quick little, uh, well, punched out to the bar there real quick this morning to try and get a tail around that for the weigh-in. Uh, not really much luck, wasn't really many birds around. Um, but as the morning progressed, I guess it took a little bit of a downturn in regards to the electric. <laughs> I don't even know how to put this, but I don't know if anyone's ever had it happen to them before. They probably have, but I had a couple of loose holes that I changed around and mounted, remounted the puck and that for me, quick, quick release for the quick release on the Mincona. <laughs> and uh, it fell off the bow and sunk about two and a half meters to the bottom and i legit spent probably like half the day trying to get this thing back with the bloody cast net the anchor in the end we ended up getting it back with the cast net and um thanks to one of my subscribers dan there he um gave me a bit of a hand in his boat and we managed to spot lock over the top of it there and we got it back and oh man it was just such a horrible morning i wish i had the footage because like legit you could see the mincota as it is now we're cruising along and the screws pop popped out from the pressure of cruising along and the whole thing just went straight over the side so man 
I pulled it out. And when, I, when we got back to the camp there, stripped it down, bloody cleaned it all out, pulled all of it apart, made sure no water was sitting inside, dried everything out. So she's all sweet. Everything's pretty basic inside, so it's not much to it. But oh, I'm just so... <laughs> I've got so many more grey hairs after this experience, eh? I was just... <laughs> I've had the shittiest morning, so we've caught literally nothing today. I feel really bad for you guys at home. You've got, I've got very stuff all to show for it. But we're gonna have a quick go this afternoon. We've got falling tide. We might try and flick a couple of drains, see if we can't get ourselves a flathead. At least get some some content and something hopefully to weigh in to uh, yeah you know, take to the weigh in, but. Oh, see you, in a, see you in a hot minute anyway, guys. Hopefully we can catch something. Now, Tom, I actually caught a fish. Oh, look at the fucking semen coming off it. Come out tomorrow, Ben's got the fucking widest teeth ever.